Today, I'm gonna to show you three AI super agents that can control your computer and do tasks for you. I just tested every major computer use AI agent on the market. What I found will completely change how you think about AI automation forever. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna expose exactly which tools save you hundreds of hours per week and which ones totally fail. Plus, I'll show you the free options that work better than the expensive ones. If you've ever wanted your computer to work for you instead of the other way around, you need to see this. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Uh, whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. And just a warning, what you're about to see is so powerful, it might make you question if human workers even make sense anymore. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know which AI agent you want to try first. So I'm going to start by testing by from Versa. This is basically like a new AI agent that's very unique because you can just pull up a window and instruct it to do exactly what you want. And this can work directly on your laptop to change whatever you want. Pretty wild stuff, right? So I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, how to use it, and basically step-by-step step we'll get straight into what it can do and what it can't do. You can actually download this for free. It got announced a few months back. The announcement said, today we're excited to introduce by AI that sees and acts on your computer. So it's really easy to install. You just download it and you can download this for Mac. It wasn't working properly when it first launched apparently, but it's working much better for me now. I've already opened up an instance here and it worked perfectly. Didn't have to pay for it or anything like that. And it says basically at Versept, our mission is to reinvent how humans use computers, enabling you to accomplish orders of magnitude more than what you can do today. Buy is the first glimpse at AI that sees and uses your computer just like you do. That's the key here. When you're using these other computer use agents like Claude or R-Code, it's good, but it's limited and quite technical to set up. It doesn't really tell you what it's doing, and sometimes it's easy to mess up. Whereas this seems to be really interesting because it can interact live with your files and uses your computer in the same way that you would. Once you've downloaded this, you have to allow the settings for it to screen record and access your mouse. So you have to set up a few security settings. It takes two minutes. Just be aware that it is interacting live locally on your computer, which means there's probably some security risks there. So just be careful of that if you're setting this up on your own laptop. I'm using it. I'm the human guinea pig testing AI, but I just want you to be aware of that. You can press command and space on a Mac, then click open, and then you can start a new chat to start using this. You can flick between which display screen you want if you've got multiple screens. Let's get straight into this and test this out. We'll start with the basics and then we'll move forward and keep pushing and keep testing more and more. So I'm gonna say, check the S&P 500 share price today. You can see we've inserted this command and now it's running. You see how it's got that stop button? You can stop the agent if you want to, but right now it's just gonna figure out what to do. Again, I haven't plugged my credit cards into this. It hasn't asked me for any payment methods and it's now opening up a new tab, capturing the screen, doing its magic. I can now see the S&P 500 price share information. Here's what I found. It says capturing the screen, Here's the details of the S&P 500, additional information, previous close, open, high, low. And you can play this back. So you've actually got a recording of what it did step by step. So it's a 31 second task. If we click play, you can see what it's doing. So it's actually pulling up the information right there. Absolutely crazy. That was just like a very simple test. It's one of the smoothest experiences I've ever seen. This seems to work really nicely and you get a good screen recording as well. Plus you don't have to plug in API. You just install it, that's it, job done. So let's test this out and take it a step further. What I'm gonna say now is open up href and do some keyword research for SEO. We wanna take it to extremes and figure out what can it not do? Because obviously it's not magic. All these AI agents break in some way. I just wanna be realistic. So let's see what it can't do. I'm going to say, open up href, do some keyword research for SEO, then give me some ideas of low competition keywords for my niche. Niche equals dogs. So it's opening up a new tab again. It's capturing the screen, going off, doing its magic. Let's see if it can figure out how to log into href. It's now gone to wordcount.com, which doesn't make sense to me. Can it navigate to Keyword Explorer? What it should be doing right here is going to Keyword Explorer. So it's gone to Site Explorer, but not Keyword Explorer. So it couldn't click on Keyword Explorer. Now it's just going directly to the URL. It figured out it needs to go to app.refs.com then go to Keywords Explorer. One of the big issues I can see right now is it's struggling to actually type into that box and type the keyword. It's figured out what to do, but for some reason it's typed in low competition keywords for the dog niche, which doesn't make sense. It should be typing in 
dogs or something like that, then filtering down to low competition keywords. Now it's opened up a new tab and it's searching Google for low competition keywords for SEO. So it can't figure out how to use Ahref. So it's just gonna use AI overviews inside Google. Honestly, if this was a virtual assistant, they wouldn't last long at the SEO agency. It's not really doing anything that we've asked it to do and it's totally failing. I'm going to stop the test there. It's taken four minutes, 22, and the closest it got was just searching on Google for low competition keywords. So it passed on the S&P 500 task. It struggled on more challenging tasks like low competition keywords for the dog niche and using Ahref. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to see if it can actually post directly to X with a half decent tweet. So I'll say, go to Twitter and post an inspiring but scary quote about future of AI Alex Hormozzi style. One of the weirdest things about this is it seems to struggle clicking buttons, which isn't very helpful if it's a computer use agent. It's now on X and it shouldn't be doing that. It should just go on the home tab and type, but it's going into the DMs. I don't know why it's going into the notifications. Just go on the home page and type a tweet. Now it's clicking on other tweets. Now it's messing around. This is what they don't show you in the ads. Now it's going back to the DMs. I don't know why it's pressing Command and A and selecting all the text. For some reason, that took three minutes, 19, to get nowhere, even with my help. So not very good there. It's failed on the keyword task and also failed on the tweet task. Now I wanna show you some alternatives to this. You can use Retriever AI. This is a free Chrome extension up to a certain limit. So you can install this extension, add it to Chrome. We're going to close by because it just totally failed on us. If we go to the prompt section here and say, go to Twitter and type in an inspiring quote about AI, Alex Hormozzi style, we'll click on act here. By the way, Retriever is free for a certain amount of tasks. You can upgrade and it's really cheap, but if you just wanna use it for free, you can do it like this. You can see the difference already. It's gone straight to Twitter. Now it's typed straight into Twitter, exactly what we want it to do. And your post was sent, boom. Look at that, that's the difference. So. I would say personally, if you're gonna use any of these sort of AI agents that can control your browser, this one is way more powerful. It says AI isn't just a tool, it's leverage that turns effort into an empire. Don't fear the future, build it. That was super easy to post, literally took one prompt and it did it perfectly. That's the difference between buy and these other tools. Let's try something else with Retriever AI. So I'll say go to href and find me some easy keywords to rank for in the dog's niche. So exactly the same prompt that we used on buy before. We'll click on act over here. The speed is just lightning fast. It's gone straight to ARRF keyword explorer, which is great. Then it's typed in the keyword dogs. So it's already got further than buy. So it's gone to matching terms, which is exactly what a virtual assistant would do or an SEO manager would do. They'd be going to this page to find matching terms and low competition keywords and it's gone through the page and scraped all the keywords for us. So if we open this up, plug that into Google Docs, boom, you got all your keywords sorted by keyword difficulty right there. So it's listed the harder ones at the bottom and the easy keywords are right to the top. So for example, KD keyword difficulty three, etc. That got so much further and was so much faster than using buy. Out of all these computer use agents, I would say this is one of the most impressive. Let's try something else. If I go to WordPress, can this write and create blog posts? Let's tease that out. So I'm going to say, log into julian.com via WordPress and create a new blog post, the future of SEO. It's gone to the dashboard here on WordPress. It's figured that bit out. Now it's navigating to post new. Impressive so far. Wow, yeah, it's actually done it. It's way faster than a virtual assistant. So it's actually gone on to WordPress, logged in, gone to the posts. This is using Retriever AI, typed in the title, and it's actually published it. Obviously super basic, it's just a test task, but you can see how easy that was, how seamless that was. Now let's ask Bai to do that and compare them. We'll start a new chat with the exact same task, same prompt, it's now gone to Pretty Links for some reason, then it's gone to Linker Connector, and it's gone back to Pretty Links. So it's a total fail on Bai, that's the difference here. Retriever AI is a super powerful tool, and it is really good so far from what I've seen. Another option is setting up browser use with MCP in Visual Studio Code, you go inside Claude and install the browser use plugin. You click on the MCP market, type in browser, and then install browser use. You can use Anthropic Claude or even Google's free API. Once you set it up, it's running the browser agent tool. So it says Claude wants to use the tool on the browser use MCP server. We can say go to example.com, take a screenshot, extract the information. Boom, it's actually done the task. 
the MCP server is working correctly. And if you use Google's free API from AI Studio, it makes this completely free with unlimited usage. You can also use I'm a free tool like Convergence AI. This is inside a virtual environment, so it's a bit safer. With Convergence AI, it's not gonna have your login, so it's not gonna be able to go to Ahrefs or Twitter and post unless you give it the login details. But if you use it directly inside the chat here, basic stuff like researching, finding out the latest stock prices, even like researching a trip, you could easily do inside Convergence AI for free. So for example, if we say research cheap trip to Florida from Manchester in July, Convergence is now working on that and it plans it out for you step by step. So if we had to rank them in terms of free options for browser use agents and computer use agents. Number one, the MCP for browser use at the top and you use that with AI Studio API key to make it completely free with unlimited usage. Number two, Retriever AI. You don't need any coding skills to set up for non-techie people, that's probably your best option. Number three, Convergence AI for safe research tasks. Number four, Buy. That might be good in the future, but right now it just seems to be in beta and struggles a lot compared to MCP or Retriever AI. Either way, you can see which AIs are the best for using browser use agents. If you want ones that actually work, you're going to use the MCP or Retriever AI. If you want one that's very experimental but non-techy, buy. And if you want one in a virtual environment, then use Convergence. Here's what I learned from testing all these AI agents. By looks promising, but it's clearly still in beta. It fails on most complex tasks and struggles with basic browser navigation, but it's completely free and runs locally. Retrieve AI is hands down the best performing agent I tested. It completed complex SEO tasks, posted to social media perfectly, and even created WordPress blog posts. Plus it gives you 100 free credits per month. The MCP browser use set up with free Google AI Studio API might be the best free option if you're technical enough to set it up. It's more complex, but gives you unlimited usage. The bottom line, if you want something that actually works right now, go with Retriever AI. If you want completely free and unlimited, set up the MCP with Google's free API. And if you just want to experiment, try buy, but don't expect too much yet. Here's the crazy part. These tools are getting so good that they can replace a lot of human tasks. I watched Retriever AI do keyword research better and faster than most virtual assistants I've hired. It posted to social media perfectly. It created blog posts. It navigated complex websites, all tasks that would normally take a human 30 minutes to an hour. It did in under five minutes. This is the future. AI agents that can actually use your computer like a human. And the best part, most of these are free or super cheap. But here's what most people miss. You need to know which ones actually work. I just saved you hours of testing by showing you the real results. If you wanna get the most out of these AI agents, you need to understand how to prompt them correctly, how to set them up properly, and how to integrate them into your workflow. That's exactly what we cover in my AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. Inside the boardroom, you'll get access to all my best AI agent setups, step-by-step -step tutorials, and a community of over 12,000 members who are already using these tools to grow their businesses. Uh, we update it every single day with the latest AI tools and techniques that actually work. Plus you get weekly live Q&A calls where you can ask me anything about AI automation. And if you want to see how AI can help you get more traffic and leads to your website, I'm offering free SEO strategy sessions where I'll show you exactly how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month. On this call, we'll analyze your website, identify the biggest opportunities, and show you a step-by-step -step plan to get more customers from Google. Whether you become a client or not, you'll walk away with actionable insights you can implement right away. Both links are in the comments and description below. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you let me know which AI agent you're going to try first and what tasks you want to automate in your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.